March 1966. Dear Joe Mary and all, I'm on the Inishvala now. It is just seven o'clock. We left at six and I'm going to bed. There are two berths in the cabin. I'm in the bottom one. I can't believe I'm gone yet. It seems so strange to be going so far away. London. A young couple me and chin for she post in Africa. March 1966, Johannesburg, South Africa. Dear Joe Mary and all, I exchanged my tape recorder for a cine camera that when I go home I can show you coloured movie films. I have taken 15 minutes of film so far, mostly of Jan Smuts Airport, Johannesburg. I'm standing by a non-white bus stop. You see, there are some non-whites here and they are as white as I am, except their father or grandmother would be black. Of course, there is no difference, but they're classed as coloreds and whites cannot mix with them. I hope the film comes out all right. I will bring another film to work next week. January 1967, Durban, South Africa. I arrived Christmas Day. It's very hot here and humid. I was surfing and swimming Christmas Day and I was burnt a lot. The Indian Ocean is very warm. The soles of my feet are blistered from walking on the hot ground. Some days it's impossible to stand in it. I'm staying at a Catholic youth hostel. There are about 12 other fellas staying from different parts of South Africa and the place is almost run by a big black woman. She's very nice. She washes for 13 of us every day with no washing machine. I told her I'll get you to send her rosary beads with a card from Ireland because she keeps my dinner for me if I'm out. <laughs> Twenty-seventh of January, nineteen sixty-seven. Dear Joe, Mary, and all. Durban is about the nicest place in South Africa. The people are a bit friendlier too. Apartheid is not so strict. But the nicest people I met here were the Cape Coloreds. I stayed in their town for three days, and I was treated like a king. I was invited to parties, weddings. One wedding was like the one I was at in Kerry. All day, all night, the traditional music and dancing and food every five minutes. By right, it's illegal to be there, to mix with dark people. One woman said she was Irish, a Mrs O'Grady, but she looked more like a Zulu to me. We must sit down
Dear Joan Mary and all, we had an earthquake here one night. The whole room rocked and there was a noise like thunder. If you were standing up, you would have easily been knocked down. I'll be changing jobs next week when I leave to go to Zambia. There's another English fella going too. The two of us were at the Irish Embassy and we met an Irish man. He was the boss of the Anglo-American Construction Company. He said if we worked for him, he would give us £300 a month. I could only send half it out of the country and I could buy a car with what's left. Then I could drive home. I'm Paul Shahokshe, near a queen of air fanunt on Roada. Marvi Fauner, Nismo Testala, a yen of Rivilla Avala. Post Lana I'm shrug a bet a August Nivig and Post Fog take a Domigisaka, nor a share into my gift and act down. Dear Joan Mary and all, I got your letter last week. You had a good time at the station. I'd like to have been there. I was in hospital too since. I had to have a small operation and everybody at work came to see me. I would have been better off if no one came because I could not laugh or anything or I would burst the stitches. For Marin Telegram, Ig Goal Kovronling, Sarahanik, Skelen Tinosk, Agusavash Kun. Vi Napoleonig Fishruan Skel, Akvishiana Yakar Muran Ola Shadar, Marin Alentashin V and Afrik Hess Kofadoin. Vi Kardunt, I get on, Agus Kurder Rash and Kudis Mordar of thee. Come I listen camera agus ganan a vi tokege agus na craven shamrog a curis quigge the lale patrick in some bart come